Come on then. Come on then. Ah, see. Good boy. Come on, get up. No. <laughs> Come on. Go away. Come on. Get up. Come on. Go away. Morning. Morning. Can we just agree that the way Sean woke me up was a bit brutal? <laughs> eh? You heard me. <laughs> brutal. <laughs> it was fine. He needed to get up. It's lovely in that bedroom, because even in the summer, when it's light at like half past three in the morning, because of the bungs, <clears throat> it's like dark, it's pitch black, so it can be blazing sunshine outside. Yeah. And it's just lovely and dark in the bedroom, so we sleep so much better. Unless you have to open a window, and then we just put one of the uh, black covers over the open window. Yeah, one of the towels off the bungs. Problem sorted, it keeps the light out. And the extendable bed, uh, that's why he has to get me up, because before he puts the bed back into its normal position, we have like an extension on the bed. Makes which, it into a king size. But we have to take that extension out, put it on top, and push the extension of the bed back in. Hence, Sean has to get me out of bed. I mean, it's not that it's not that late. When I'm up, is it? It's probably about seven o'clock. Yeah, usually up by seven, half past seven. I don't sleep in. And the first thing you'll notice is Dylan. You'll notice him wagging his tail as soon as he hears us. <laughs> and he has to have his kind of cuddle and play and fight. And, and then he goes out for his wee and has his dinner. Don't know if you notice in the bedroom, the cupboards. We've got loads of storage in there. So we've got the double wardrobe. Uh, Sean has the... the top bit don't you and I have the bottom bit yeah in the wardrobe yeah uh, we've got like a corner cupboard for all the shoes and jumpers and hoodies and stuff and then we've got two deep drawers under the bed one each uh, one of them each and then behind the drawers is like really deep storage so we put stuff in there that it's like seasonal so all the big winter yeah. coats are going in there in a couple of weeks we've even got a suitcase in there that we'll never use yeah unless somebody wants to <laughs> <laughs> send us on holiday somewhere that would always be nice wouldn't it oh Maldives <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then we've got the TV, which we hardly ever use, to be honest, do we? In the bedroom, no. No, we don't use that unless no, one of us is poorly or if, if we've had a row and we just need a bit of time apart. That's it. That's the only time we which use that. Which is rare. Yeah. And then above that is, we've got our, well, there's the Sock Mountain cupboard. Sock Mountain. Sock Mountain. It's been Sock Mountain since day one. Uh, and then on the right-hand side, it's Colin's Secret cupboard. Not allowed in there. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think I was going to mention that, did you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so first things first... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody that comes on Silver Fox is going to want to look in Colin's secret cupboard now, aren't they? Uh, so the first thing we normally do... <laughs> uh, the first thing we do is have a proper coffee. I don't drink a lot of caffeine. You can tell I'm having it now, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> you made me blush now. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, so, yeah, we have a cup of coffee. Uh, then normally what we do is, instead of talking to you, is we'll be uh, sat as laptops. I'll sit at the dinette. Sean will sit down on the sofa. And we just start going through the comments, don't we? Yeah. When you add, like, the Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, you add them all together, and it's probably five or 6,000... Comments a week. Comments and messages comments a week. And messages. So if it takes a day or two, forgive us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, coffee. And what time are we on? Just oh, it's before, nearly just nine. Before nine o'clock. Uh, so we're going to have this. We've got to catch up. We've got to have a bit of a wash, uh, get ready, uh, and then we are moving to the water point to get some water. And I think you're going to do some shopping, aren't you? Yes. Shall we go there now? <laughs> 
today it's been planned with military precision. <laughs> Military precision. Military. You don't do precision, do you? Nah. Like, It'll be right. It'll be right. It'll be right. So we're running out of water. We've got about a quarter of a tank of water left, but I want to do some washing because we haven't done any washing for two weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've got to do some washing with a quarter of a tank of water. And the nearest water point is about a half a mile back. Behind us. At Marston Dole's. Now, there's no winding hole in front of us for a mile or two. So we're just going to reverse the half mile back to Marston Dole's water point. I'm going to get some water and do some washing. And at the same time, Sean's got a taxi booked for 10 o'clock, so about 35 minutes. For the second time. And he's going to get a taxi to Tesco at Southam, uh, get some food, come back. By the time he gets back, hopefully, we'll be full of water, all the washing done, so we can just move back forward yeah. to this nice little isolated mooring out of the way from everybody. That's the theory. That's the theory. But you know what plans are like on the canal. <laughs> Won't be tired any of you that moor up here. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen like two boats in a week. Yeah. yeah. Two, two boats in a week. And every time you can kind of, like, I can hear them coming a mile away. And I'm like, Sean, there's a boat coming. And you're kind of watching, thinking, don't you dare moor next to me. <laughs> Sean, start coughing. <laughs> uh, so that's the plan. Yeah. Uh, cost my legs bad. I'm going to just sit on the uh, stern rail and steer backwards back to the yeah. water point. And Sean's going to walk down with Dylan. Yeah. Because it's been so sunny for the past week, the batteries have been charged by like 10 o'clock on the morning, so we've had no need to run the engine. So even though we're only doing a short run, like a half a mile there and back, I'm just going to do a few checks, which we do every time we start cruising anyway, just to make sure everything's all right. The first thing we're going to do is check the oil level. So when I put it back in, it needs to come up to about this notch, hopefully. Yay, that'll do nicely. Give that a bit of a clean. So the oil level's all right. Uh, while I'm down here, I'm just gonna check the uh, filler caps, make sure that they're all okay. Make sure the tension in the belts is good, which it is. Just making an overall check that there's nothing leaking, no oil, no coolant or anything. Everything seems nice and clean. It helps if you keep your engine bay nice and clean anyway, because you tend to notice any leaks and spillages and things. I've already done the weed hatch. If you want to see how we clear the weed hatch, look back to a couple of vlogs ago. It's called Weed Hatch Hell, where we pull all sorts of nasties out of the weed hatch. Uh, so I've already done that. I've also, right down at the bottom there is the gearbox oil, uh, which we unscrew a little bolt and it's got a tiny little dipstick. Uh, and we pull that out and check that. I've done that as well. <laughs> no point filming that because it's so down deep in the engine bay, we'd never get the camera down there. Uh, so everything's good, we're good to go. steer a narrow boat when it's in reverse so we use the forward gear to point the boat in the direction we want to go then go into reverse while we're in that position I actually look at the front of the boat more than the direction I'm moving because it's easier to see when you're going off course and if I do just put it back into forward for a few seconds reposition the boat and then reverse again if it's really windy or a tricky maneuver, we've got a bow thruster that moves the bow left or right using a motor and a propeller under the front of the bow. Not today though, it's pretty simple. We always rinse the hose for about 30 seconds to flush out any nasties before we fill up the tank. It takes anything from quarter of an hour to an hour and a half to fill the tank, and that just depends on the water pressure wherever we are. So with the tank filling, Sean's off to the supermarket. Shopping's a bit weird. <sighs> because we're not actually that far from Tesco, we're about four mile away, but you can't walk there and walk back with all those bags of shopping. Uh, I can't walk far because my leg's still a bit bad. Can't go on the <laughs> bike. Can't carry much on the bike. No, you can't. So we've had to get a taxi and then you've got to try and find a taxi. Luckily, we found a really good taxi driver who took you about two weeks ago, didn't he? Yeah, about two weeks ago and then again. But it's 15 quid for a round trip. 
So for two trips to the supermarket in two weeks, it's cost us 30 quid just to get there and back. <laughs> Food's starting to get a bit expensive. <laughs> and when you're on a budget like we are, yeah. it's, it's, it's a little bit tough trying to find that because we've got to deduct that 15 quid from our uh, weekly food budget, which when, yeah. when you're living on such a tight budget as we are, is not, is not great, is it? No, it's not. Uh, so it's just cutting back on uh, down to essentials, really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Uh, but, uh, and then when you get there, obviously you've got the queue, haven't you? Oh, it's weird. Really, really strange. Two metres apart queuing around the car park. They're only letting you, letting so many in at a time. One in, one out. So while he was uh, gone doing that, I uh, did some washing. It's good when the sun's shining like this and we've got loads of solar and the engine's running, you can like get a hot wash going. <laughs> but what I usually do is use the hot water from the engine. Uh, rather than using the batteries yeah, you do. to warm the water up. Uh, so we've got a couple of loads of washing done. Uh, when Sean got back from the supermarket, he had about, about six bags. <laughs> I needed a Sherpa. <laughs> uh, so when he got back, uh, he put the washing up for me. How we dry the washing, it's really simple. We just have some uh, elastic bungee cords and we strap them to the frame of the pram cover. Yeah, we do, yeah. Uh, and when it's nice and sunny and a bit breezy, which it has been... The dry in an hour. Yeah, it's dry. We've got like all the washing dry, the towels in like an hour. It's brilliant. So because we're now on an even stricter budget, we can't afford Jaffa cakes anymore. <laughs> so, so, so Sean's cobbled together the bits of flour and sugar and butter that we have got. And I think you're going to make some shortbread out here. Make some, bis make some biscuits. Sean's gonna make some biscuits. Da, 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 da. How different is it making biscuits in our galley than it would be in the house? Space, basically. On here, you don't have a lot. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty narrow. That's why Sean always goes mad with me if I'm trying to get in the galley when he's kind of doing his stuff. See, there's just this little bit of space here. Uh, so the galley, it's, it's, it's got everything that the house has got, hasn't it? Yeah, it's just uh, smaller. So if you lift the lid up, uh, we've got a gas hob. Sean's not really keen on it. No. Uh, and it's probably something that we will change in the next year or so. We've got a kettle that's just like a whistling kettle, coffee pot. I've got the tea, coffee canisters and the mugs. And that's it, that's all you need really. On, yeah. On the other side. On the other side, we have our sink and we've got our food storage. Under sink, I'm not going to open that. I think it's just like anybody else's under sink cupboard, isn't it? A mess. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got a washing machine just where Sean is stood. Uh, that's just a normal basic uh, A triple plus rated 1600 spin washing machine. Yeah. And then that little thing you can see just in front of him is just the distribution board for the electrics and the solar. What we're we going to make today? Shortbread biscuits. Yay! Yum yum. Mama's little baby like shopping, shopping. Right then, let's go. When I'm doing home baking, I always use this. This has been going since 1923. Couple of years more than you have. Just a few. Yay! 300 grams of flour. 100 grams of sugar. 200 grams of butter. That's a lot of knobs of butter. <laughs> uh, what's the difference between our cooker and the cooker at home? This oven's smaller and it takes a little bit longer. What now, chef? Now we just have to rub the butter into the flour and sugar mix. Now that's all nice and crummy is you bind it together. That's all bind it together. And the last scrappy bit makes a little finger. Kay's little finger. <laughs> you want to change your name to Fanny. Fanny Craddock. How long do you cook on for? About half an hour. There you go. Yorkshire's answer to Fanny Craddock. Me. Uh, 
so we're letting the fire go out during the day when it's a bit warmer and just lighting it well now on a night aren't we yeah on a night time so at this time in the afternoon i'll just get a quick clean out uh tray is emptied yes so you might have noticed that we've got a solid fuel stove instead of the diesel stove that Sean originally wanted, didn't you? I did, yes. And the reason being is it's quite simple really. Solid fuel stove is cheaper. Uh, there's less for it to go wrong yeah. than there is with a diesel stove. It's cheaper to maintain. And there's just some, I don't know, it's just like romantic, isn't it? And nice to have. It's nice. A coal fire or a, a log burning on a cold winter's night there's just something romantic about it as well as the dust you've got to clean up oh it's a nightmare it's a price worth paying for us no, yeah no regrets none so sean's going to show us his secret to cleaning the glass on the stove there's all sorts of like potions and stuff you can buy isn't there yes there is that are expensive and people like just rub ash on it and stuff it's not a secret really it's these lots of people use these cheap baby wipes He does like to keep a clean fireplace, doesn't he? I do actually, yes. Chimney's done. Chimney's done, yay! But it never stops, does it? Cleaning never ends. We spend about an hour a day, every day, just doing something, cleaning something, and it keeps everything in order then. So today, I'm gonna mop the roof. What are you doing? We're cleaning algae off the bottom of the boat. Because we're not moving, we've only moved twice in about a month, maybe a little bit longer. And the algae grows around the bottom of the boat really quickly. So we're just brushing that off. I'm boiling! Boiling! Can you feel me heat? <laughs> what? Oh, it's too hot! You can, can't you? You can feel the heat off me. Yes! You crackers! So, <laughs> Vince, I can feel it off me. My, my arms are like... I, I feel like I'm going... <laughs> we don't normally sit outside. Uh, but it's just like nice and sunny and you've got to grab every moment of sun you can, yeah, I think. Yeah. Uh, and Sean managed to get some sun cream when he went to Tesco earlier, so we're not burnt much. <laughs> but he has made me put a t-shirt on. Uh, we've just had pizza. Yes. Because we've been to Tesco, we've got like nice fresh things that'll last about a day. And then <laughs> it's like back to tin stuff and pot noodles for a fortnight. Eat it all at once. <laughs> But uh, the sun's really good for the solar. The batteries have been charged up like by mid-morning, yeah. like every day. We can't charge enough things up. No, we can't. It's like, can't we plug into the grid and like get some cash back for what we're producing? We need to turn everything on. That reminds me to turn Ebers back on. Oh. Because uh, we're not using the engine, uh, we use the central heating, the Ebers backer system. It's like a diesel-fired central heating system. Uh, and that just heats the hot water. It's like about an hour. Ish, a tank of an water hour so we can grab a shower an hour and a litre of fuel uh so uh last half hour or so we we had us pizza and we've been catching up again with more social media stuff 
Uh, I've been doing a bit of editing. If it hadn't been so sunny, I would have been editing most of the day, wouldn't I? Yeah, you or would, yeah. Most of yeah. the afternoon. And Sean's been FaceTiming his dad. It's good to talk to me, dad. It's weird that on lockdown, he's probably talked to him more than you would have done, haven't you? Yeah, well, he's on his own, isn't he? So he needs cheering up, miserable old git. So is my, <laughs> so is my man, but I haven't rung her. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Poor ma'am. It's me in trouble again. <laughs> uh, I'll do a bit of editing, uh, just catch up on stuff. As soon yeah. as the water's heated up, I'll grab a shower uh, and then we'll probably just chill in front of TV for an hour. I think Dylan wants feeding though. Yeah, he's late. He's quiet, isn't he? We Five o'clock left... usually. We haven't left him outside. No, he's usually pestering us. about living in the house is being able to have a nice long soak in the bath. I used to do it twice a day, every day, and I miss that. Now on the boat, we've got a full size quadrant shower and it's all right, but we've only got a 350 litre water tank. So we have to be careful how much water we use if we want to make it last. The blood, blood, blood you can hear is the water pump. The drain of the shower is lower than the water level of the canal, so we have to pump the water out. It's grey water, so we can put it straight in the canal. Step one, rinse. Step two is lather up. And step three, you see me in there, rinse off. One shower in about a minute and 10 seconds. Hello, bienvenue, welcome. Oh la la. Oh la la. <laughs> <laughs> what language is that from? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, all showered. Dylan's been fed and walked and is fast asleep. We used to have a two-seater sofa that we got from Ikea when we first got the boat. But it weren't big enough. It wasn't big enough because Dylan, as you can see, he needs like half the sofa and the footstool and he has to be touching me and Sean at the same time. He does, doesn't he? Yeah. When it, whatever position is in, he has to be on the sofa, the footstool, touching me and Sean all at the same time. It just spreads out. So we had to get rid of the two-seater and we got a three-seater from Ikea. It was only like 500 quid, wasn't it, yeah, from yeah. Ikea. Uh, so we just generally sit here on an evening, just like anybody else would. Watching just vlogs. Sat in front of the TV watching a few vlogs. Da, 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 da. I think we arrived on the 7th and it's now the 8th. Good morning guys. Dave! And when we're all caught up, it's usually bedtime. We have to bed. Come on then. What? I don't know what you're expecting. This is what we and 90% of the population do at bedtime, innit? I didn't know they were still here. Yeah, <laughs> that would have been awkward, wouldn't it? I'll put my phone down. <laughs> if I'd have gone in my special cupboard for summer. Oh, you don't need that. Uh, so, uh, welcome to Narrowboat Silver Fox's bedroom. And this is about as exciting as it's going to get. It's actually quite a routine, isn't it? Trying to kind of get the bed ready. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, I couldn't get a bed ready. You got... You got... You... Dirty! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> oh, sorry you were saying. I'm now. You can now. You do it now. <laughs> oh! Oh, gives you phone. Ah, oh, just gives you arm. Trust no. me. No. Trust me. No. Trust me. 
Trust me. You trust me, don't yeah. you? Lift your arms up. No! <laughs> Oh dear. Oh. So you were saying you have to get I the bed ready. I can't remember now. It's like oh a, yes, I have to get the bed ready while you get ready for bed. And then when you come to bed, I sort everything everything else out. Everything? Yeah. So you brush my teeth, you have a wee for me. Yeah. You say goodnight to Dylan. <laughs> you clean my glasses. Yeah. So I do everything else apart from you getting yourself ready for bed. <laughs> oh dear. So just another day on Narrowboat Silver Fox. Yes. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed your day with us as much as we've enjoyed being with you. Uh, if you have, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel for more of this yeah. uh, silliness. Uh, if you click the notifications bell, YouTube will let you know every time we release a new vlog. Uh, drop any questions or comments or feedback about the boat or this just bizarreness. Is that a word? Bizarreness. It sounds like bananas. It is now. <laughs> and we'll try and get back to you. Uh, if you'd like to help support the channel, that would be brilliant. Uh, that would be really appreciated. There's a join button on the homepage, or you can join us on Patreon. I think there's a link up there, isn't there? Just right above my head, usually. There you go. Uh, right, I need to get something out of my special cupboard, which is where you are. So uh, we're going to leave you there. So uh, you can go now. You can go or just switch the light off. I'll switch the light off. All right, bye. What do you want me to do now? <laughs>